Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS and Borsog Trader. If you're new, welcome and welcome back, KS family. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin currently down 1.04% to 20,059. Ethereum down 5.01% to 1087. From my 30 plus years in financial markets, I explain the smart money mindset to assist you to be more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love, gaining real wealth in the process. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market, seven days a week, 365 days a year, please subscribe to YouTube. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. Thank you for tuning in. I very much appreciate us sharing this time together. What we've just done together is a quick run through of the crypto market. This is incredibly valuable information and you will refer to it in the future. It will also help you to Borsog. I've left helpful links in the description of this video, such as the links to the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. And you can reach out to an ambassador through these links and get 80% off. I also have a reference to the tax software I use that comes with a 20% off. And you can always directly message me on Twitter at any time. The Borsog Trader YouTube channel is all about helping you better time market entries and exits. I just put out a new video, how I made 27% profit in less than four days when Bitcoin was retracing on GMT. If I can do it, you can do it. The skills to do Borsog are within the CTKS masterclass. You'll need to be able to mark up your charts with the CTKS method, which recognizes exponential price action. Then you need to look at outside events, checking the stock markets, collecting probabilities like a really good detective, then come back into the crypto market, finding the market's focus and understanding that opportunities reset every day. Enhancing your pattern recognition is really, really important. But before you buy or sell, before you pull the trigger either on an entry or an exit, you must have emotional mastery and emotional control. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in today's video. To make returns like this, you can't allow fear to shut you down. Fear needs to open you up. And what does it open you up to? It opens you up to learning if used correctly. That is actually what fear is for from a biological perspective. But often fear shuts people down and they get really angry because they don't act on opportunities. Rule 570, psychology sets profitability. People with a negative psychology will make losses in the crypto market and any market. And people with a positive psychology can actually take advantage of market timing. I'd like to reach out and thank Scotty for his comment in yesterday's video. Scotty has been doing consistent gains again and again now for the past 10 trades. On a $300 account, I'm making around $100 a day. Well done, Scotty. And now many of you might laugh and say, he's full of it. That's impossible. And laugh out loud. That's something that I used to say. But watching your amazing videos again and again and again has taught me so much. Well done, Scotty. And Jess, don't borsog without the knowledge. This is really important. You must have the knowledge. Your psychology is your major advancement or stalling in life. And when it comes to financial markets, markets penalize fear and reward courage. So markets reward courage. You must have courage in financial markets. It's essential to you succeeding. And we need courage in life as well. That's why as a community, we talk about positive excellence and maintaining real wealth foundations, such as kindness, inner and outer peace, gratitude, happiness. Why do we do this? Why don't we just focus on money and make money the absolute be all and end all of everything like other YouTube channels do? Because money is an output of a process. When you look at someone hugely successful, they've had to sacrifice to get there. 
money and wealth and things like that don't come easily. Anything worthwhile takes your commitment and your persistence as well. Positive excellence actually helps you to time the market correctly. So let's look at the other side. Let's, let's look at the shadow of that. Market mistiming comes from fear and negativity. For example, I like to show this little cartoon. Everybody's getting really, really greedy as price goes up. And then when it comes down, they mistime the market. And when it comes up, they've missed that move. And what happens again? They scatter again. Getting into timing the market is the single most important thing that you can do. And that's why I created the Borsog channel. Borsog is rule 621. Buy on red, sell on green. This is a rule professionals use. And I put these videos out on the Borsog Trader channel to help people to understand that even as the crypto market has been coming down, you can actually make a lot of money. And what you see here is 10% or plus turned in a very small amount of time. If I can do it, you can do it, but you must have the knowledge. But also the more important thing, you need the positive attitude. If you have a negative attitude, you will be prevented from making anything like this. And that's not about gambling. It's about probabilistic fearlessness. Making the transition to feeling positive about a very, very volatile market is an easier path when you stop thinking about what can go wrong and start thinking about what can go right. And of course, you need to manage your risk. If you find a trade is not going in your direction, you can exit it. There's nothing wrong with that. Remember, Borsog is all about learning. It's about starting small and scaling, just using coffee money. Get yourself into the rhythm of the market. And then as you get more and more experience, you'll do much, much better. Just take your time. Go slow to go fast. Rule 225, Bitcoin cannot escape the stock market's gravity. We can literally look at the NASDAQ and see how Bitcoin is going. We can see the NASDAQ broke through its support hit another level of support and is just trying to decide if it's going to go up to the next level or it's going to fall through this support and go down. And look at what is happening with Bitcoin. It's basically the same thing. The interesting thing to note is the VIX, the fear gauge of the market spiked up and then has retraced. We have to keep our eye on if the VIX is going to shoot up or not. That can give us a bit of an indication as to where price might be going, because we know fear is a major driver of price. We can see that bond prices continue to charge upwards and bond yields continue to fall. Gold was trying to rally, but got squashed down. But this is actually good. If we think about recent news in NATO, we can often look to gold to give us geopolitical spikes, US to ramp up military presence in Europe to counter Russia. Basically, NATO has pledged this week to increase its high readiness forces sevenfold. The US will add 100,000 troops it has now in Europe and deploy more military equipment to NATO allies. Additional Navy destroyers are going to be sent to Spain. Short range air batteries are sent to Italy and two squadrons of cutting edge F-35 jet fighters are being sent to the UK. And these new security commitments come as NATO prepared to admit Finland and Sweden into the 30 member alliance. These kind of spikes in gold actually represent geopolitical events often but not always but generally often and we can see the dxy has been strengthening it got over a level of resistance and has resumed up and if we look at where it's going to it's hitting a level of resistance now but it's pretty much in an uptrend we can also see that oil has broken its downtrend is trending up We've got a just a reconfirmation of the uptrend at the moment, but we need to keep our eye on this particular price range and see if it breaks through support. We do very deep dives on all of these components in the masterclass. What we're actually seeing is that the NASDAQ is coming down to support. 
we've had a bit of a rally in the dollar. Hopefully we'll get a pullback. The fact that gold is not spiking is actually quite good and oil is retracing at the moment. That is also a positive probability that we can stack. Rule 45, no alt can escape Bitcoin's gravity. What we do is that we look at the NASDAQ in comparison to Bitcoin and we see the directional bias. As the NASDAQ moves up, Bitcoin moves up at the present time. These can go in and out of phase. So don't be just thinking that this is a rule. There are no rules in the market. They consistently change. We're looking for consistently reliable signals until they are not consistently reliable signals. Then we look for the next one. It's all about trading. So what do we see here? The NASDAQ is coming down and now start starting to flatten out. What does the options market tell us in terms of Max Payne? And Masterclass students, you will get this live chart when you reach TG34. This is the trigger section. We're seeing from the options market that the max pain is actually 22,000. The max pain for tomorrow has actually dropped 500 down to 20,000. We're also coming into a fairly good level of support at 19,668. And when we look at the chaos model, that exponential line that actually tends to hold price very, very well over the long term of Bitcoin's history, that is currently 18,980. Please let me know in the comments, where do you think Bitcoin's price is going? Do you think it's going to go flat, up or down? Please let me know. It's really, really good to do this. It just gives you a little bit of experience in timing the market and timing is everything. Let's have a look at the longs and the shorts. We can see the longs are coming out of the market currently. The shorts are gaining more confidence. Let's have a look at how liquidations are going. Over the past 24 hours, there's been about 150 million in liquidations across nearly 57,000 positions. And when we look at the past 24 hours, around 68% of total liquidations have been long liquidations. What about the past 12 hours? About 64% long. What about the past four hours? about 88% long liquidations. And what about the past hour? About 76% long. The longs have been getting hit. No wonder the shorts are feeling confident. We can see that the liquidations of longs and shorts are always occurring. If you're leverage trading and you're just learning, if you're not a professional, it's just a question of when you will get wiped out, unfortunately. These are the things that we all learn when we're in the markets for any period of time. It's best to just buy at spot until you know what you're doing. If you want to leverage then, go ahead. But please refrain from leverage while you're learning. When looking at the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, we can see it's currently 13. And I've just drawn this line here to show you where 13 coincides with other price behaviors. We can see that the market is under extreme fear, but we're actually making money in this market through Borsog. But that is if you have the knowledge and a positive attitude. If you see the difficulty in every opportunity, the market will relentlessly take your money and give it to those who see the opportunity in every difficulty. All of these trades were made when Bitcoin was tanking and just current price action. These are not old trades, they're recent. Inside the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass, you'll learn all about real wealth and positive excellence. It's a critical mindset to have to make money inside the crypto market because crypto is incredibly volatile. That's why I suggest we just look at it, the current market as a Borsog market. Forget about bull, forget about bear. You can do really, really well in a Borsog market, but you have to have the skill. And more importantly, you have to have the right mental attitude. Being highly negative, being very, very pessimistic, you'll actually create the results of your thoughts. Flamingo said a really, really good thing. She shared this in yesterday's comment. Picture the very best version of yourself and act like it. I read that once, uh, I read that once, and it's great advice. It helps you to stay on your path 
Remember, signs follow. They do not proceed. That's Neville Goddard. That means positive signs will show up in our lives as a reflection that we are using our minds properly, picturing the best version of ourselves and walking a positive path in life. All of this relates to turning a life lesson into positivity. It's really, really good, Flamingo. In the financial markets, your profitability depends on being the best version of yourself. For a lot of people, they're caught in blame. Blame is the single most destructive human emotion on the planet. I believe it's a major cause of depression and anxiety and a loss of meaning in life. When you get out of blame, when you look for the lesson, you actually experience happiness. But more importantly, you'll make money. And isn't that what we're here to do? Have a beautiful life and have a comfortable life as well. Badger also had a really good share. Thank you, Badger. And I hope you have a fantastic vacation with your beloved family as well. Badger said, the red path gets redder and the green path gets greener. This is in response to Jay's comment yesterday, which was just fantastic. The tough lessons make us stronger, wiser and better prepared when we choose the green path. There's a very important distinction in here. When we choose the green path, that is the distinction. Tough lessons do not make us stronger, wiser and more prepared if we choose the red path. The red path of blame, anger, aggression, all of those things, they just disempower people. When we take the tough lessons in life and empower us ourselves from looking for the positivity, the hidden gem inside that lesson, we definitely do become stronger and wiser and better prepared. This is exactly like inside the market. So many people have become incredibly toxic because you can see it on Twitter all the time. We're very, very fortunate that our community is not that way at all, but we can see it everywhere. The toxicity is simply because people have undergone a tough lesson that will promote them to the next level in their lives. But instead of becoming stronger and wiser and better prepared, they're looking to offload the lesson and therefore offload the strength, offload the wisdom, offload the preparedness onto some other target through blame. That's why I say blame is the single most destructive human emotion because it is. And Badger says, we want to look for and find the lessons, even in the worst situations. And this is absolutely correct. Your profitability depends on it. And as Alan said, pain will become gain, but only if you can embrace that lesson. Thank you for sharing, Alan. And thank you for sharing, Badger. Let's have a look at the greatest gainers over the past 24 hours. USTC out in front. Like I said, you... you this is a gamble. Absolutely. I wouldn't personally touch it. I wouldn't care. I have great skills at Borsog, but I wouldn't touch Terra at the moment. But of course, you can do whatever you like. What I say is just what I say. You do what is right for you. 0x up 8.42%. OKB up about 4%. Doge 3.4% up. Leo about 2.8% up. Uni about 2.8% up compound about 2.8 you can see that the market is not moving too much in the top 100 and let's look at it from the other perspective greatest losses over the past 24 hours quant down about 10.8 percent btt 9.4 down axie infinity about 7.9 percent down flow about 6.9 down the graph 6.4% down, Carver 5.8% down, and 1 inch 5.4% down. It's important to remember that opportunities are everywhere, even in a red market. What I've done with many of these trades, they've been red, the market has been red when I bought, and the market has been red when I sold, but it doesn't stop the percentage gains from coming. As Babe Ruth said, never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game. Enhancing your pattern recognition is really important to understand how to do it. So, for example, when we look at Bitcoin's fingerprint, Bitcoin's price action, and overlay it on our beloved alts, what we actually see is the differential 
nature of Bitcoin's gravity. For example, as Bitcoin was coming down this blue line, what happened to Ethereum? What happened to Binance Coin? What happened to XRP? What happened to Solana? What happened to ADA? What happened to Doge? What happened to DOT? You can see all the time that Bitcoin's gravity is very, very strong, but about 1% of the alts say, yeah, Bitcoin's gravity, I'm just gonna give you a bit of a rain check. I'm gonna go and do what I want to do, but then gravity gets it eventually. That's why it's called gravity. Masterclass students, you may notice a different arc forming right at the moment, just keep your eyes on it. I want to show you something, a bit of a hidden secret, and this is important to understand. When we talk about Bitcoin's gravitational pull, notice that Bitcoin has retraced to that bottom. What about this bottom on Ethereum? Ethereum is a bit stronger. It's not retraced down to that level. Notice that level. Bitcoin got all the way down there. What about, for example, on Binance Coin? It's about the same, but just a little bit stronger. What about on XRP? It's the same. It's retraced back to this particular low. This is the kind of stuff that you need to look out for. What about ADA? Well, it's done what Bitcoin's done, hasn't it? It's retraced to that low. Now look at this one, retraced to the low for Solana. This low, what has Doge done? <laughs> Doge done? What has that Doge done? It's gone up. So there's a lot of strength in this, but remember Bitcoin's gravity will rectify things eventually. Now look at DOT. What has happened to DOT? It's showing exceptional weakness. It's actually selling down. But what does gravity do? It will pull it up. This is the kind of stuff that you need to keep your eye on. Inside the masterclass, you learn of so many ways to interpret the market and then put your buys and sells together in whatever fashion, way, shape or form that suits your unique personality. You're just like a master chef. You've got all the ingredients. You just need to put it together correctly. And what you will actually find, unlike a recipe, there are no recipes in financial markets. There are ways of acting from a probabilistic perspective and also having your non-emotional mindset in phase is really, really important. That's why I suggest that you borsog with just a small amount of money, just coffee money, until you gain your strength and understanding and analyze your trades. As soon as you put $1 on a trade, you're going to pay attention. Always pick your own crypto and do your own research. I put different cryptos in front of you simply to let you know of the different types of chart patterns that you may encounter with your beloved alts. There are over 20,000 cryptos floating around out there. I can't cover all of them, but the concept is I can cover the pattern and you can recognize that in your beloved alts. Always do your own research. And what we do, we always make in advance probabilistic choices. What will we do with our portfolio or a specific trade? And it is definitely a trader's market now. It's not an investor's market anymore. It's a trader's market. What do you do if the trade goes for you, goes against you or goes nowhere? You must have these answers clearly in your mind. Also, when you make a decision, have the integrity to act on it. It's really, really important for your own personality's sake. And it also applies with your entire portfolio. And integrity always is witnessed by kindness, kindness to yourself. A lot of people think that they can pick the lotto numbers for the next draw and they get angry when they miss by one or two or they didn't win the jackpot or they didn't win anything. That's just not possible to predict. What you actually do is you stack probabilities, just like a really, really good detective. And when you get into the synchronization, the flow of the market, you will be doing things that retail would never think of doing, and you'll be reaping the rewards. When I share these trades, I also share the details of these trades. I actually show you the dates and times the trades were done by a screenshot from the exchange. This is really important because it actually helps you to better understand how to make money out of crypto. Don't forget, if I can do it, you can do it, but just start small and scale.
the other thing that I do in the Borsog channel is I try to give you all sorts of different patterns from all sorts of different cryptos. Because if you look at these patterns, these are just the top crypto projects. You can look across and you can see many, many different types of patterns. You can see Tron came down with Bitcoin and then sharply spiked up. And it was very different for SHIB. SHIB spiked up later than what Tron did. And when we look even at AVAX, that's a different kind of pattern. Matic is a different kind of pattern. You'll see all kinds of different patterns in here. You've got to be proficient at analyzing, <laughs> analyzing the patterns and understanding what you're looking at. If you get into the sweet spot of the trade, don't worry about picking the bottom and picking the top. That's fantasy. Nobody cares about doing that if they are professional. A lot of people, when they're new to the market, they think they're doing something wrong if they don't buy right at the bottom and sell right at the top. And that's fantasy. Just take the pressure off yourself. You do not need to do that. Just get into the sweet spot of the trade and ride it to the level that you think is appropriate. And what you think is appropriate can be wildly different from somebody else's vision on what is appropriate. But in Borsog Trader, and of course the CTKS Masterclass, we talk so much about percentages and getting onto the right side of the percentage. If you're on the right side of the percentage, you're on the right side of the trade, no matter what that particular trade is doing. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Reverend Jim Jones. Hey, my friend. Wabi Sabi said something really terrific in the comments from yesterday's video. Nothing that requires skill comes easily. Working on the technique and building your experience to apply it is very important. Start small and scale and use patience. Thank you, my friend, for sharing. I'd like to thank everybody in the community that shared their concepts and ideas. It's fantastic. As a group, we go, grow stronger and kinder together. And it's really important, that kindness aspect. And why is that? Kindness is critical to learning. If we're not kind with ourselves, we cannot learn. What we actually experience in life, anytime we blame, we close ourselves to a learning experience and that closes ourselves to life and also happiness. Today in the comments, I thought we could talk about optimism because you know it's so incredibly important. Without optimism, the markets will take our money, will deface, will get out of the timing of the market and will end up buying at the wrong time and selling at the wrong time. This is what happens when fear is our counselor. Fear is the reason for anger, aggression, and blame. Fear is weakness. Courage is strength. And the only way to move from fear, which is our natural built-in survival mechanism, it's we all have fear, but the way to transcend it is through understanding and being kind to ourselves. And that yields a positive attitude. I thought talking about positivity would be a great thing to talk about in this particular video. We can see all the different patterns playing out at the moment. We can see, for example, Stella is selling off hard. Near is doing pretty much what Bitcoin is doing, but you see that Near overextended the upward movement. And of course, it's overextended the downward movement. We love the overextension of up, but we're not too crazy about the overextension of the downward move. But just be aware, this is crypto. Cosmos is acting a little bit more strongly than Bitcoin. Remember that low, it's above it. What about Algo, Algorand, weaker? What about Bitcoin Cash? Bitcoin Cash has been very, very weak. Poor old Bitcoin Cash, not doing too, too well at, at all at the moment. Ethereum Classic has retraced below that particular low. You can see that it's showing signs of weakness. VET is consolidating around that low. And what do we see with Decentraland Mana? It's actually behaving with more strength. These are the secret signs you can look for. In the Borsog channel, I show reasonable percent gains, but you don't have to make reasonable percent gains to do very, very well over time. If you just did a 2% gain, you could grow $100 into $138,000.
just be aware that you don't have to go after massive percentages. Just try to take the pressure off yourself, but always know what you're doing and always start small and scale. It's always good to take this idea with you. Markets reward courage and they penalize fear. You don't want to feed your fears. They'll make you weaker. Fear is simply a signpost towards strength, not towards weakness. If you embrace fear, basically you're going to go backwards and you're going to be terribly unhappy when you do so. Even though the market is red today, you can see there are patches of green. When you have courage, you can step into the green patches or at least understand what can be turning less relatively red and make money from that. You don't have to buy green to make money. You can actually buy red to make money, but you need the structure and you need the knowledge to go with it. So that's why when you're learning anything, just take your time, go slow to go fast. And remember that life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. I hope you found the content useful and you can look at these screens for potential Borsog opportunities. That's why I'm going through them each day for you. Please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. Thank you very much to our moderators for keeping our community safe from scammers. And please note, I don't have WhatsApp. That is a scammer's paradise. And also a very big thank you to the CTKS ambassadors for assisting masterclass students. And of course, a very big thank you to you for watching and for being part of our global KS family. If you would like daily updates on price movements in the crypto market seven days a week, 365 days a year. Please subscribe to YouTube. I've left helpful links in the description of this video, such as the tax software I use and the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass. Please use the links in the description to seek out an, an ambassador to get 80% off. And you can always reach out and directly message me as well on Twitter. Please remember, crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now.